Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Upper Deck Allure Hockey. 10 box, pick your team number one from a fresh master case. So it's a full inner case right there. All cards ship and a lot of different fun parallels to chase. There's a lot going on here. There you go. All card ship just because look at all the different parallels and stuff and sets that you can build and everything. So big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. The ice hockey action. There it is. Pick your team number one. Diane, Last Bod Mojo, Nashville Predators. Thanks everybody for getting into the action. We got the fresh case right here. So let's pop this open. Mark this left and right. So you see in the corner camera right here, that's the left side. It says L right here, and that's the right side. It says R right there. We'll go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And we'll use that die right there. And it's six. So we're gonna go with the right side. There it is, R for right side. Set this right here. On the left side, the left side will save for pick your team two. Good luck, everybody. All right, so there's all the boxes over there, Let's stack some on top. And we'll keep working through it. Pick your team one. I'm sure Nick will have figure team two, the second inner case posted there. Do you have two spots, Diane? Yes, I see with the Rangers and the Predators. All right, you're welcome. Good luck, Diane. First box. Here we go, Connor McDavid leading things off. And we've got Philip Zadina, Relic. And Dante Fabro, orange slice die cut to 199. That'll go to Nashville, that'll go to Diane, last spot mojo. And the Detroit Red Wings, that will be for Matt Stubblefield. Oh, was that, did I go too fast on the Piggy team? 
Here, I'll show it again. There you go. You can also pause the video too and rewind just in case. There you go. All right. Hi, Kevin. How's it going? So these white rainbow die cuts aren't numbered, but everything ships. So I like these open eyes. There's Kale Maker or Makar. And our first autograph is Noah Dobson for the New York Islanders. Die cut auto going to Rick Thomas and the New York Islanders. And that is Red Rainbow to 349. Here's John Tavares, Red Rainbow. Kale Fleury, White Rainbow die cut. And there's Nikita Gusev. I feel like you can use that open ice card as a bottle opener. They should have made metal ones, like plate ones. All right, box one in the books. Nikita Gusev, New Jersey Devils. That'll go to Jonathan McClay. All right, box two. Nothing sold out at the moment. Um, so after this, this should end in about, this will take about 40 minutes or so. So once this is over, I think we still have an open time slot at uh, around 4.15 LA time, 7.15 East Coast. So let's slot in a break in there somewhere. There's Rudolph's Balsers for the Ottawa Senators. That's gonna go to Eric J. We got Matt Murray, orange slice die cut to 199 for the Penguins. That's going to go to Don Rab. And we got Rasmus Sandin, Maple Leafs autograph. That's going to go to John McCall with Toronto. We got Jack Hughes, rookie die cut, red rainbow. And we got Mark Shifley, steel, 34 out of 50 for the Winnipeg Jets. I could open a bottle with this, right? Winnipeg Jets, Jake Anderson with the Jets. There's Capo Caco and Alex DeBrincat for the Blackhawks. Jersey and autograph for the Chicago Blackhawks. That's going to go to Mike Tower. There you go, Mike. And Diane will get the Capo Caco parallel. Because he's, from what I understand, he's one of the, the, the big rookie names. Mark Shifley. Those red die cuts are not numbered, but 
Rem Pitlick is numbered, 52 out of 99. Uh, green Quartz is what they're calling it. And that's for the Predators. That's also going to go to Diane. And Jimmy Schultz, Golden Knights, is going to go to John McCall. No worries, Mike. Thank you. What are the uh, what are the big the big hockey stories going on these days? I remember last year, St. Louis Blues won the Stanley Cup last year, right? There was a gentleman that uh, there was a gentleman that put a bet on the St. Louis Blues to win the Stanley Cup around January of last year, which is what about midway through the season. And I think no one thought that the Blues were going to win the Stanley Cup in January, except for that guy. So he got incredible odds on it. And then I think, yeah, Bill saying, Augustus saying, we were in last place at that time. So, there you go. There's Vancouver Canucks, Zach McEwen. That goes to Michael. And there's Matthew Barzal to 199. No worries, Diane. But yeah, I remember this, there was a big story where someone put like Barzal goes to the, to Rick T and the Islanders. Um, I think I don't know how much he put down on that, but the, the odds were they're extremely long shot odds. I think he maybe put like 50 bucks or 100 bucks on or something like that to win like 50 thousand dollars or something crazy. There's Vitelli Abramov for the Ottawa Senators. That's for Eric J. I don't know. Someone look up that story. I'm pretty sure it's still got to be out there somewhere. But they must have been like 500 to 1 or something insane like that. I mean, like Bill said, they were in last place. There would be no reason to think that halfway through the season that the Blues would not only get into the playoffs but work their way through the playoffs and then win the whole damn thing. There's Jimmy Schultz, Golden Knights, Pewter. Those seem to be a little, little more shorter printed than some of the other ones. And the Connor McDavid open ice die cut, die cut, cut out. We'll go to the Oilers, of course, John McCall. Yeah, it's a good kind of shock, Bill saying. It was a shock to the city, but a good kind of shock. What? Now, I, you know, I think most of you know that I don't follow hockey too closely, but what was the turnaround? What did it for the team? Were they already a good team, and but they were underperforming? And then they just, they just regressed back to the mean? Was it luck? Was, I don't know what it was. Was it, what was it? Or was it was it a not good team that overperformed at the right time? Oh, Jordan Binnington, your goalie, rookie that got moved up. So he was just lights out. He was just unstoppable. He decided to stand on his head for the entire run. There's Ryan Poling, Canadiens, die cut, William Buttle, that autograph. Jeff, Jeff S. is saying, oh man, my, his poor Bruins. Out of 349. Oh, there he is. There he is right there. So everyone just kind of stepped up, huh? Those are some pretty great stories. It does seem like in hockey that if a, if a, 
Oh, there's Heinrich Lundqvist. If there's like a goalie that just gets hot and is just like seeing everything and the whole the game slows down for the uh, there's Heinrich Lundqvist again. And the game slows down for the goalies, then that's when you know real magic can happen. Diane with the Rangers. I think the the Kings, their their recent Stanley Cups have been because of that. There's Joel La Esperance for the Dallas Stars SKS with that one. Next box. Is there going to be a team like this, like that, like the Blues this year? I mean, who's last in their conferences? Let's look at the NHL standings. I mean, that would be like, what, could, could New Jersey Devils, Ottawa Senators, Detroit Red Wings, they're, they're, those are the three teams sitting at the bottom of the Eastern Conference. Sabres, Rangers, Canadiens. What about in the West? The Kings, my Kings? Ducks, Sharks? Oh, that's rough for the California teams there. Sharks, D Anaheim, Ducks, and the Kings. Those three teams are at the bottom of the West. Brutal. Wild, Blackhawks, Jets. I'm sure stories like that they don't like doesn't repeat themselves too often. All right, ooh, we got we got this nice one here. There's Nico Sturm. What a patch! What an autograph! What is that number two? Low number, very low number. Four out of ten. Nice purple diamond autograph for the Minnesota Wild. Don Rab. That's nice. I don't know if he's is he a good player? Do we like do we like Nico Sturm? The autograph looks nice. The hit looks nice. There is Colton Pariaco for the St. Louis Blues. That'll be for David. And there's Zach Senshin, rookie relic for William and the Bruins. Senshin? Close enough. All right, next box. Now, speaking of the Blues, St. Louis Blues have 72 points. Next closest team are the Avs with 66 points. Are the Blues going to run it back, Augustus? When's the last time a team has won back-to-back -back Stanley Cups? I say it was Mark Messier's Rangers back in the late 90s. Or maybe a maybe a Penguins team, perhaps, more recently. Last team that won the Stanley Cup twice in a row. Oh, it was the Penguins. Theo says Penguins. There's Capo Caco, rookie relic for Diane and the Rangers. There's 
There he is again. There's Eric Carlson, orange slice die cut to 199. There's the Allure die cut, Capo Caco, and an autograph for the Senators. Mags Voronu. Voronu? Voronu. For the Ottawa Senators, that'll be for Eric Jacques. And there you go, another Capo Caco as well, one of my favorite names in the NHL. Capo Caco. Sounds like a, uh, sounds like a Pokemon. There's Nico Hersher. Bob Stoops is coaching an XFL team. I'm watching ESPN right now. There's Bob Stoops who's coaching the Dallas Renegades XFL team. Who's excited about the XFL? I am. So tomorrow, Seattle Dragons at DC Defenders. My Wildcats, my LA Wildcats are in Houston. Uh, Philippe Myers for the, uh, I almost said Eagles. Flyers, 51 out of 199, orange slice, Brad Marchand. Uh, I do know that, Mark, they are behind a little bit because of the 150 box Super Bowl mixer and because they were in Dallas ripping 18 cases of Series 1, so they are behind a few days or so. But I think they shipped out the last of the football mixer yesterday. In fact, I don't think anything... I don't think anything is... I don't think we're all caught up, actually, as of now. So everything is shipped out. There's Nathan Bastian, New Jersey Devils. XFL partnered with DraftKings? Ooh, that's interesting, Cooper. Hmm. Those should have been shipped, Mark. Shoot us an email. Shoot our team an email, and they'll look into it. Yeah, pre-Super Bowl stuff should have been shipped out already. Jaspie's case breaks at gmail.com. Ladies and gentlemen, if anybody else has any shipping related questions, I'm not helpful. I, I can give you general details, but I'm not very helpful at detail details. So if you need some, uh, some additional detail beyond just general FAQ type questions, then shoot us an email, Jaspie's case breaks at gmail.com. All right, two boxes to go. I want. I'll have to check with Nick on that, Matt. I wonder if we will get Tops XFL in. I mean, there are some. There are some kind of names in the XFL, right? So. All right. There's Nathan Bastian. I don't know if any of those XFL cards are going to go like hotcakes, but. 
It could be a little bit of value there. It could be fun. There's Sergei Bobrovsky, 37 out of 99. Green Quartz for the Florida Panthers. That's going to go to Paul Harris. Clayton Keller, open ice. There's Zach McEwen for the Vancouver Canucks. Oh, you have some, you know, I know we did have the, did have that grand opening too. I think that kind of eliminated day. And then the boss man the following Saturday had a, uh, had a, had his big birthday bash. So I know there were a couple of shipping days interrupted. So maybe that was, maybe that was part of it too. That's to 199. That goes to the Boston Bruins. That goes to William L. And we got Jakub Vrana for the Capitals. That goes to Mark L. With the Caps. Yeah, it was a busy time. I think finally we're, things are starting to, to slow down and I think we'll be back to our regular. We don't have anything major happening. I think we'll finally be back to normal, which would be nice. And I think I've been in the, uh, I just only realized this recently, I think I've been in the shop like 13, 13 or 14 out of like the last 15 days <laughs> working or doing something, you know, so I, I'd like things to go back to normal too. I need to kind of recharge a little bit. All right, there you go. I like that, Coop. League announced that DraftKings will serve as the official DFS partner and an authorized gaming operator of the league. Let's go. Let's keep it going, DraftKings. Nico Sturm again. Minnesota Wild, Don Rab. John Gibson, Orange Slice to 199 for the Anaheim Ducks. That'll be for David. And we've got Jersey and Autograph, Rudolph's Balsers. And that is a Blue Line Auto Jersey, 81 out of 99. Ottawa Senators. That's going to go to Eric. Eric J. with that. Tara Horosi for the Detroit Red Wings. That's going to go to Matt. There's. Oh, they don't show the parallel here. That's two out of 50, though. Blake Lazote or Lazoti. That'll go to the Kings. That'll be for John McCall. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the break. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We'll see you next time for some more hockey on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.